So what's up everybody, it's Rodak from Rodak's Revival back with another video today. And today we're going to be doing that Q&A that I was talking about. Now I know, before we get into it, I know I said that I was going to wait like two weeks or so, but that was just based off of post engagement that I've had kind of on here before based on you guys' comments and everything like that. So I thought it would take a little bit longer, but a lot of you guys pulled through, got me at least 20, 20 questions to go on in here. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And I'm just going to kind of work my way down. So I got my laptop here and I got everything pulled up. So let's go ahead and get this started. <laughs> So the first comment is from Caitlin, and it said, how long have you been skating? How long have you been skating? So I started skating when I was around four or five. It's when I kind of started, got, got into playing hockey and stuff like that. Um, the next little question in there is, how did you get into it? Um, my dad played hockey. He was a really big fan of hockey, so he kind of just got me into it, and it was something that I've always was naturally good at and just loved doing. So naturally, I just wanted to play as well. And then the last question from Kaylin, it says, what keeps you motivated? Um, there's a lot of things that keep me motivated, just wanting to be able to accomplish like my dreams and my goals and stuff like that. And then, you know, a little sidebar of things that keep me motivated is things that people say that I can't do. You know, if someone tells me that I can't do something that motivates me even more to want to go and do that. So that's definitely something that keeps me motivated. But more along the motivational side, I just want to succeed for myself. Like I don't want to let myself down. So, thank you, Kaylin, for the questions. Now, next ones that we got, we have quite a few here from Rebecca. So, we're gonna get started into hers. Um, so, her first question is, how do you stay so strong mentally and emotionally? Um, it's not easy. You know, it took me a long time to figure it out, but definitely one of the things that definitely helps me is just to stop caring about what others think. You know, I found out that you know, along a lot of your mental and everything, I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction and I believe a lot of your mental is kind of the energy that you attract to yourself. So if you surround yourself with negative people that are always trying to keep you down or anything like that, then that's the energy you're gonna attract to yourself and the same thing with emotionally, you know, like that's just what it is, guys. If you stay positive, speak things into existence, you're gonna breed positivity to you. If you're waking up every day around negative people and have a negative circle, you're gonna be negative. So, um, next question. Is football still something that you wanna do professionally? Honestly, no. Um, I found myself falling in and out of the passion of it too much, and I feel like if you wanna do anything professionally, you gotta dedicate 100% of your time to that. Like, I don't know if you've ever guys ever heard, but the 10,000 hour rule, you gotta put in your 10,000 hours, you know, and you still might not be good enough. So, I found a new, thing that made me happy in life and that's making videos for you guys and making videos for myself and I just love doing it so that's kind of where my passion is right now um, next question is what is it like dealing with your diseases um, it's just like a little minor hiccup during the day I mean I can live just like everybody else does I just got a few more doctor's appointments per month than most people do <laughs> So what pulled you out of depression? Um, if you guys know me personally or you know get to know me later on in you know the series, if you follow my channel or anything like that, yeah, I was depressed for a really long time and it goes back to the how do you stay so strong mentally and emotionally. I let everybody else's opinion of me get to me too much. Like I was just always down. And then like I said, the law of attraction. Like I decided that I was tired of living that way. I hated being tired and down all the time so I was like you know what I'm gonna make a change and I'm gonna be positive all the time I'm gonna you know give feedback out to others try to help them with through their problems while helping me through my problems and it just got got me out of my depression so what got rid of your anxiety now let's take a little second here to talk about this um, I, I went through like massive anxiety and um, everything like that a couple years ago where I was having panic attacks like every day and what got me out of it was just understanding what it was it's like an evolution thing that we developed over time and it's just like the best way I know how to explain it for anybody that has anxiety out there is say you're walking through the jungle and all of a sudden a tiger comes out you know your heart starts to race all that stuff starts to happen your hands and feet get numb if anybody has ever had panic attacks and they get all white the reason for that being is it's like a defense mechanism that we evolved through over time and that the blood 
in your body actually goes into your muscles, which allows us to be stronger, run faster, lift things heavier, and that's what adrenaline is. Now the only reason it feels like you're dying or anything like that is because you're sitting still, like nothing dangerous is happening. So imagine, the next time you have a panic attack, just imagine this is your body's natural thing. It's telling you that there is like danger around. So just imagine running like a mile, you know, how you feel after that, how your heart's racing, you're breathing heavy, all that kind of stuff, but the only reason it feels weird is because you're sitting down. The thing that I do that helps me is I just hold my breath for as long as I can and slowly exhale and then I'll take like another deep breath, hold it for like a minute or so and then slowly exhale then usually I'm pretty good. So her next question, why hockey, um, kind of goes back to Caitlin's question. It's just something that I've always like loved to do and something that I feel like I've always naturally been good at. The video that you saw yesterday guys was like the first time I've had a stick in my hand and on skates in probably five years. So to be able to just not be great at it, but to be able to still do some of the things that I was doing yesterday without being on skates or holding a stick or even having anything to stick handle with in a long time, I feel like I'm. it's just naturally something I've been good at. So would you ever pursue any kind of musical career? Um, honestly, no. Um, reading into a lot of like the politics of what that kind of stuff is just doesn't really entice me. Music, music, playing instruments and stuff like that has always been something that I did as like a release, but I don't think I'd ever want to try to like monetize that in any sort of way. Um, it's just not something that, it's something that you know, if I'm having a stressful day, I can just pull up the keyboard and start playing or write down some lyrics or something like that, but it's something that just kind of personally helps me and it's not something that I would ever want to be as like my job. And so the last one is what or who inspires you? Um, as far as like who inspires me, I have quite a few. Um, Captain of the Dallas Stars, Jamie Benn, I'm just, I, I'm inspired by his leadership action. You know, he's like a man of few words, but kind of leads through action. You know, he's always got everyone's back, kind of things like that. And like, uh, as far as like stuff that I'm doing, I, I'm a really big fan of, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, I love Charlemagne the God, Andrew Schultz. I love listening to those guys, like opinions. And stuff like that so those are the kind of ones who inspire me and um, what kind of inspires me is just to be great like I just want to be great at whatever I do and so it's always something that I'm always pushing for to want to be better at so that's kind of what inspires me and who inspires me so my and then now we got another one from Rebecca asking what my favorite songs are right now um, I'm, I'm loving Joyner Lucas's all of his stuff like especially his remixes he's doing because I'm a really big fan of like hip-hop and I love people that aren't afraid to push the culture forward or you know talk about issues going on and all his remixes are basically remixing songs that he doesn't like and then basically talking bad about whoever's in the song and I love people that are fearless to kind of go at anybody like that so my favorite food um, would have to be anything seafood seafood is definitely my favorite food uh, my favorite piece of my tattoo, it's definitely like my back and down my side. Um, it's the most recent one that I got done and I just love how it all flows together. But as far as like my whole tattoo goes, I think it all kind of flows together and looks nice. So I kind of, I like it all. And then last question from her is Machine Gun Kelly or Joyner? Or can you even choose? No, I can't choose because I will go from listening to Machine Gun Kelly and then the very next song will be Joyner and... Those are just two my two favorite rights right two favorites right now. If you know me personally, you know I've been like a Machine Gun Kelly fan since like 2010, back when like Cleveland, the song Cleveland came out and stuff like that. And I just started getting on to Joiner maybe like a year ago, but I love everything that he does. He's crazy lyrically. Like the song Backwards, the I'm Not Racist video was great. Um and then like I said, all of his remixes and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's such a powerful song and I love that song. So thank you, Rebecca, for all the questions. Let's keep it going here. So we have a few from Morgan. And let's go ahead and get into Morgan's questions. It says, I've noticed that in a lot of your videos, you have background music. What inspires you for the choice of music you use? Is it like whatever mood you have or a list you choose from or what? So it's kind of hard to get music put up onto YouTube without getting, you know, copyrighted or anything like that. But I got to... There's a guy on there who's really for the culture. Um, 
Ender Gunny, um, NCM Music, free copyright music. Um, he makes great songs from his own, puts them out for free. As long as you gotta do is give him a shout, give him like a shout out in the description, and links to all of his stuff. So I really appreciate what he's doing. You know, for smaller people like me to be able to get the copyright, you know, for the songs like that by not copywriting them. So I really do appreciate that from him, and his music's really great. If you guys want to head over to his channel, it'll be down in the description. Um, and it really, whatever background music I want to use, it just kind of like fits the mood for whatever the video is going to be. So, um, another one from Morgan, if he wrote a book, what would the title be? I honestly probably would just be my YouTube name, Rodak Revival, and it would be like an autobiography. I don't see any other way that I could, you know, write a book any other way other than just writing like an autobiography. So thank you, Morgan, for the questions. And the next one, we have one from DuPonte, um, good friend of mine, and he said, but can we both get DS1 mission skates? Dude, if I had the money to get us both some, then I definitely would, but you know how expensive they are. But thank you for the question. So moving on here, what do your tattoos mean? This is from Brian. Now all of my tattoos kind of have a meaning, and basically this whole tribal and everything that goes around it is based around like health, family, love, stuff like that. It's all kind of personal things to me. So I have my two letters on my arms on the back, which stand for pride and determination. And so that's what I kind of got after I got diagnosed with my diseases. So again, Brian, thank you for the question. And that's kind of the basis of what they mean. Yeah, we have, let's move it on here. We have some from Raven Blackbird. It says, where do you see yourself in 20 years? Or do you like to live in the now? I'm kind of on both sides of that fence. I like to look forward to my future, but I also like to appreciate things like in the moment as well. Um, and as far as I still see myself in 20 years, I just see myself as successful and being great at what I, whatever I'm doing. Um, whatever that is, I don't know, but I just know that I'm gonna be great at whatever I'm doing and I look forward to that process. And then, yeah, I do like to live in the now as well. So thank you, Raven Blackbird, for those questions. And before I get out of here, I still got one more from Morgan that was down here. So adding to Morgan's, it said, if you could get a tattoo of any music artist or their work, what would it be and why? Um, definitely, it would have to be like something from Machine Gun Kelly, and it would probably be like the EST 19XX tattoo somewhere on me. Um, his music helped me through a lot of my depression and stuff like that back when, you know, I was listening to him. It was always real sustainable, you know, and uh, it just always fit me very well. I feel like, you know, a lot of the struggles he was going through or some of the struggles that I was going through. So I've always been like an EST family. If you give me just a second, you can see. I've got the bandana, the EST bandana right here. I got multiple shirts of his and stuff like that so yeah just a, it would be definitely a machine gun kelly tattoo and that would definitely be why so that's it for the comments now guys um i want to try to do one of these like once a month or so so keep posting your comments on videos or like or you know just any sort of comments you know whether it be questions you have for me video ideas anything like that all my social medias are down in the description below and don't forget guys if you want to subscribe it's right over here and if you don't want to miss any of the my life series the playlist will be sitting right over here so thank you guys all for the questions i really do appreciate all the love and support that i've been getting so far but guys this is just the beginning we're going to continue to keep going up and keep growing so thank you all again and uh yeah stay tuned for more